so in this session i will talk about uh, the examples of bases and dimension then i'll talk about lu decomposition kyunki aaj ke session mein hum logon ko lu decomposition discuss karna hai the lu decomposition is one of the very important topic okay lu decomposition so you can solve the system of linear equation using this method as well like lu decomposition method yeah good morning uh chatri so lu l stands for uh you know lower triangular matrix and u stands for upper triangular matrix right so i will be giving you very smart way of solving lu decomposition based problems right so <clears throat> and uh, let me recall the definition of basis you know basis is nothing but a set of linearly independent vectors that spans the vector space right and the dimension is nothing but what the number of linearly number of basis vector okay which are present in the set okay so suppose there are uh, four uh, vectors present in the set right and all guys are basis vector right all guys uh, satisfy the two properties one is linearly independent the vectors are linearly independent and they are spanning the space or you can say they are spanning sets or generating sets right so you can use them as a linear combination to generate any kind of vector in the space right any set of vector any vector you can write them uh, you can write uh, you can express any vector as a linear combination of uh, the given vectors okay present in the basis right so these are the definitions that you have to remember okay आपको ये डेफिनेशन याद रखना है सो एग्जांपल ऑफ बेसिस एंड डायमेंशन विल टॉक तो मैंने आपको बताया था कि मान लो कोई एक पॉलिनोमियल स्पेस है ठीक है पॉलिनोमियल स्पेस इज आल्सो समटाइम्स नोन एज वेक्टर स्पेस तो विल टेक वन एग्जांपल हियर सो एग्जांपल नंबर वन यू कैन से ऑलरेडी वी हैव टेकन सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल तो वैक्टर स्पेस सपोज आई एम टेकिंग एज अ वैक्टर स्पेस द पॉलिनोमियल स्पेस P and T, right? There are n number of terms. Okay. <clears throat> P and T of all uh, polynomial. Okay. Of a degree, uh, degree is less than or equal to n, right? Degree is less than or equal to n. Then the set, the set uh, S. Okay, just you write uh, like uh, you know you just write the uh, you know one t t to the power two and so on t to the power n right the power of this uh, the variable okay the time is this polynomial is uh, in t okay you remember this is a single variable t okay is a uh, we call it is a basis right is a basis for p and t right so if any suppose quadratic equation is given so you can talk about the basis right uh, you can just take the you know the power of the variables put them in the set right so they can become a basis for uh, you know polynomiality right so what is the dimension for this the dimension is going to be uh, right dimension is going to be because this is going to satisfy li and all sort of uh, uh, you want right so dimension is going to be nothing but n plus one right n plus one is gonna be the dimension right so that you have to remember fine so please remember in uh with respect to polynomial how we write the basis that is collection of uh you know all these like one you know you can say this is nothing but a t square right so instead of writing t square uh, sorry t to the power 0 right we are writing 1 okay so dimension is going to be t n plus 1 okay ye yaad rakhna ye example hai and the second example last time i was telling you a uh, second example was suppose you have got any system of linear equation of the form ax equal to 0 right the so solution of when the system of linear equation ax equal to 0 okay the solution of ax equal to 0 is also known as you know what we call it solution space we call it solution space or sometimes we call it null space as well null space right 
null space remember so uh, ax equal to 0 is called the solution space or null space okay and this is also known as homogeneous system of linear equation because the right hand side is 0 here right aapko ye sari cheeze pata honi chahiye okay okay so ax equal to 0 the solution of ax equal to 0 right solution space or null space okay so suppose you have got something right suppose some matrix is given and uh, you know in case of ax equal to 0 right suppose a uh, system of linear equations are given which are homogeneous system of linear equations so you don't have to form a augmented matrix and all you have only a matrix right so just write a matrix here simply so i'm just taking a matrix okay any a matrix you take and uh, okay please remember this right so just i'm writing uh, you don't have to solve this okay uh, so 1 2 minus 2 minus 1 1 right these are the uh, elements 2 4 minus 4 uh, 0 3 minus 1 minus 3 right 3 3 4 uh, you know 3 6 minus 7 1 1 so guys by looking at this uh, matrix can you talk about what kind of solution you are going to obtain uh, whether it will be unique solution or uh, it is going to be no solution or infinitely many solutions okay. in this case uh, you know as you can see here uh, the number of equations are less than the number of unknown your number of unknowns are more right number of columns are more right i hope this makes sense it is nothing but a 4 by 5 matrix okay for the size of the matrix is 4 or you can see in terms of equations and the number of unknowns right certainly uh the rank of the matrix is going to be um, you know maximum rank that you can talk about is uh, you know four right so uh, certainly you know the uh, the uh, if the equation is consistent right the okay the rank is gonna always less than the number of variable in this case okay so what will happen number of unknown i mean to say what will happen then you will get infinitely many solutions right so if you simplify this okay uh, so you can apply elimination i'm not gonna apply elimination right so after applying elimination okay you can apply elimination take this as a pivot and then apply row operations okay and keep on doing this so you will obtain this kind of a matrix okay so i'm just writing directly this kind of a matrix that is one two uh, minus two minus two one all sort of elementary operation that you can apply just i want to talk about basis vector that is why i'm not uh, you know doing all those intermediate steps that you can carry out right by yourself understood aap apne aap se kar sakte ho elimination lagana to i think uh, ye pichle 10 lectures mein we have discussed how to apply elimination right so 1 2 minus 2 minus 2 1 sorry this is uh, you know uh, uh, okay 1 2 minus 2 and this is nothing but minus one one right and this is going to be zero zero okay one two five right and this is going to be zero 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 and this is two one right and then you can say zero 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 so after elimination you are going to get this kind of a matrix right so this is nothing but echelon form okay it is echelon form right this is going to be echelon form so how many how many uh how many you can say how many uh pivots are there so you can say this is one pivot here you can't take this as a pivot right you can't take this as a pivot remember but you can take this as a pivot you can take this as a pivot right okay so how many free variables are there uh anybody can calculate how many free variables are there in this case any one how many free they go if there are free variables it means uh you know you have to go for infinitely many solutions or ax equal to zero ke case mein to certainly you will get uh, you know, infinitely many solutions here right because in this case uh, you know there is not uh, there is no augmented matrix and all you have to just see the rank of the matrix a if it is less than the number of variable number of unknown certainly infinitely many solutions okay so i think anybody can compute uh, the uh, number of free variables बताओ कौन कौन बताओ जल्दी तो आप बोल सकते हो मान लो ये आपका x1 यहां पर रहेगा x2 x3 
x4 x5 see each uh, each unknown correspond to one column right so here uh, the pivots where pivots are present right you can understand the column which has got pivot right uh, that that column uh, the that variable corresponding to that column is known as a basic variable or dependent variable that you can say right but the column where no pivots are present right you can see here x2 does not have any sort of pivot x5 does not have any sort of pivot right so you can say that x2 and x5 are the pivots in this manner you can calculate but there is a formula also i told you the number of variables are uh, you know you can compute here the free variables free variables right free variable is going to be number of variable minus the rank number of variable is 5 and rank is going to be 3 right in this case so free variables are 2 and what are they you can see that in this case x2 and x5 are the free variables right okay so if you're going to apply uh, you know you can take this uh, x2 as alpha 1 and x5 as alpha 5 sorry alpha 2 not alpha 5 alpha 2 you can take understood so that is very simple to obtain okay so uh, uh i think this is clear right or you can say that x5 is uh, you know alpha 1 so you can say this is alpha 2 whatever manner you want to take you can take it ठीक है याद रखना अब देखो आप x2 x5 को ले सकते हो alpha 1 alpha 2 and then you can apply this back substitution so you will get this kind of a format i'm just going to uh, separate them out right the particular solution as well as the null solution so aap dekhoge you will get like x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 okay so uh, you can do this right uh, after applying back substitution you will get this okay so why why i'm writing directly why i'm not explaining the intermediate step because what topic i'm gonna talk is the basis not the uh, how to compute how to solve the system of linear equation here right but you have to solve the system of linear equation and you have to get this form so up uh, you can say alpha one you know you will get here one minus two one zero 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 plus alpha two times okay so ax equal to zero me kya hoga you will not get any particular solution you will get only what this these non you can say homogeneous solutions because if you take this minus two one zero 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 if you put back into the equations right uh, okay so you will get zero only that is what the beauty of this solution is right so one of the question also we have got right so uh, this is how you can verify uh, you know options uh, you know with the help of these uh, you know solutions okay so 0 0.95 again yeah. uh, then 0 minus 4 0 0.5 then 1 yeah. it is very important so guys these are the guys okay we call it uh, these are the solutions you can say homogeneous okay solutions or you know they satisfy ax h equal to 0 right we call it axh if you take this and take this okay and put back into the equation so they will satisfy ax equal to 0 right and they are also known as null space okay they form a null space or you can say solution space so please remember this okay so some points remember once you got this okay so you have to remember some points important to remember uh, the vectors that generate ax number one the vectors that generate or a span you can say that generate ax equal to zero right uh, that generate the solution of ax equal to zero solution of ax equal to zero right r what you can say minus two one zero zero uh zero and you can put 
the transpose here so that you can write them as a column vector and minus 9.5 or 0 minus 4 minus 0 0.5 and 1 right these are the vector they generate sol solution of vx equal to 0 right okay whatever so these vectors are linearly independent vectors please remember right so what you can say that uh, these note that these vectors are we call it these vectors are nothing but linearly independent vectors vectors are linearly independent vectors understood these vectors are linearly independent vectors okay and these vectors form a basis for null space of you can write remember these vectors are these vector form you can say these vector form basis of null space of a these vectors are these vectors form basis of null space of a okay please remember this point okay. this is very important the vector that generates solution of a x equal to 0 are this okay and these vectors are linearly independent vectors and these vectors form basis of null space of a right so you can put them in the set and you have to understand that if you take these vector put back into the equation so they will create the null space right okay that is very important and the dimension of null space is gonna be 2 you can talk about dimension of this so dimension is going to be 2 dimension of null space okay. see if someone is going to ask you what will be the dimension of x equal to 0 so find out the solution and number of vectors which are present in the solution is going to be the dimension so dimension of null space we call it ax equal to 0 ko matlab kya hota hai? null space so dimension of null space is going to be 2 and this 2 is nothing but what we call it nullity nullity right and remember the nullity is going to be equal to the free variable jitne free variables honge utna wahi nullity hoga aur jitne free variables aate hain they are the dimension of the you can say dimension of the null space so nullity free variables dimension you can relate uh, for uh, null space right yeah i hope this makes sense to you right this is very important to remember okay So some of the example that I have already told you, so fine. So let me take one more example here, uh, uh, important example. So I think everybody understood this example, okay. So please remember that you have to solve the system of your equation and the part uh, which is going to create null space is going to be the basis uh, for the null space, right. Hello. So, one example all let them important example. Suppose we have got any matrix A. We have a matrix here. Here, just say one, you know, two minus minus two one, right? And three six minus uh, five and four one two zero three. Of course, your matrix has certainly you can say see here number of equations are uh, less than number of uh, you know uh, uh, column or you can say number of unknowns right certainly you will get infinitely many solutions in this case right so what you can do you can convert this into uh, you can apply echelon for, i mean uh, the you know you can do elimination perform elimination right so after performing elimination kya aega? Malo, you will get here as uh, you know you will get after performing elimination one two minus two one so you can make it zero right so it will be zero okay okay and this is also going to be zero if you apply the elimination you can say r2 is going to be r2 minus 3 r1 and r r3 can be what r3 can be r3 minus r1 directly right you can do directly okay okay please remember so this is going to be zero and par aa jayega aapka, you will get here one and you will get here 
Uh, yes. I think this is clear for all, right? <clears throat> so, 1, 2, minus 2, 0, right? So, uh, let me apply uh, the elimination properly. Otherwise, you will say that sir is not doing these steps, right? Here, 0, then you multiply 3, then it becomes 0, then you multiply 3, so it becomes 6, uh, then add with this, so it is 1, right? plus 1. And if you multiply, 3 here so 4 minus 3 is 1 right please remember these things okay now next is uh, <clears throat> if you see this is 0 this is 0 it becomes 2 and this is becomes uh, this becomes 2 okay now clearly if you see here uh, you know further if you apply so if you take this as a pivot okay because this was the pivot now this is a pivot so you know r3 can be taken as r c minus 2 times of r2 right so what you will get here you will get 1 2 minus 2 1 right and this is 0 this is 0 1 1 and you can say all guys are 0 here so you can see here how many free variables are there how many free variables are there one pivot here one pivot here so you can say that there are two free variables right there are two free variables okay so, यहाँ पर आप बता सकते हो कि rank of the matrix कितनी है? Rank of A is basically two because number of pivots are two here in the columns, right? Okay. I hope this makes sense to you, right? Please remember. और आप यहाँ पर free variable बता सकते हो कि free variables कितने हैं? तो free variables are going to be how many? So free variables are going to be basically uh, you can say three variables are uh, you know n minus r n is four minus two which is two. So I have told you that the vector corresponding to the three variables are known as basis, right? Vector corresponding to three variables are known as basis. In this uh, matrix, if you take a look uh, here, the matrix, okay? So <clears throat> In this case, what you can talk about, see, there will be two kind of ranks also that you can understand. One is row rank, we call it, one is column rank, right? So, rank is going to be same. Row rank and column rank will always be same, guys. Rank will always be same, right? Why I am talking about, uh, you know, rank and number of pivots? That is the reason I never talk about rank in terms of number of rows or number of columns, right? I'm, I'm, I always talk about number of pivots, kitne hai, right? So, ab dekho ge. There are two rows which has got pivot. There are two columns which has got pivot, right? So, you know, how many pivots are there in each column? Uh, I mean, there are two columns which has got the pivot, right? So, you can say that uh, <clears throat> the row rank, so you can talk about this, right? So, if you know the rank of the matrix A, which is 2, so you can say that the row rank equal to 2 and the column rank is also 2 rank is not going to be different right whether it is a row rank or a column rank okay hmm? but you have to see what the uh, pivots you have to see the pivots okay yes are these things that you have to understand right and uh, uh, null space already we have discussed right so you can talk about uh, row space you can talk about column space right so if i ask you what are the basis uh, you know what are the basis for you know this is for row space what are the basis for row space right so what you have to do here is you have to directly take a set okay and you can write here the row okay row corresponding to the three variables right so <clears throat> okay so here you see uh this row okay this row has got a pivot means this row is going to be linearly independent row right Okay, remember okay so corresponding to this row okay corresponding to this row this i'm talking about this row okay what you can do here is you can uh you can say that corresponding to this row there are two linearly independent rows that you can talk about because in the basis there should be linearly independent vectors right so if rank is two means how many uh, vectors are there how many rows are there which are linearly independent there are two rows which are row rank means what 
you can you can talk about linearly independent rows okay if you know the row rank means uh, you can talk about how many rows are there which are linearly independent and how many columns are there which are linearly independent columns right so i'm talking about uh, you know uh, basis for row space okay See, if row space is this you have to put row in the set if i'm talking about column space so column how many columns are there which are uh, you can say which are linearly independent columns so wherever the pivots are there right okay, wherever pivots are there they are going to be the uh, you can say basis for column space but if they are asking basis for null space the basis for null space will be what they go you can talk about basis for row space let me mention all these things right okay. I'm just writing here you can see you can find basis for a row space okay you can find basis for column space and you can find basis for null space so these are the spaces that you have to understand okay row space column space you know null space right so number of pivots see, you see wherever the pivots are present that is going to be the linearly independent row right linearly independent row okay these are points of to note karne hamesha okay these points you have to always keep in mind and one more thing that i would like to say here is that suppose this is the row here these are the rows you can say okay okay i hope this makes sense so what you can do here is you can apply you know you can apply back uh, elimination as well if you want to make this guy as uh, zero okay so if you apply let me take this matrix okay? sometimes what happens answer will be given like this r right you don't have to get confused you can a back elimination bhi laga sakte ho okay let me take here this matrix okay i'm just going to take here dekho isko just you can remove this right or just let me write uh, directly okay without spending much time so <clears throat> what you can do here is uh, you know you can take this as 1 2 minus 2 1 right here i'm writing 1 2 minus 2 1 okay 1 2 minus 2 1 and uh, 0 0 1 1 and this is nothing but 0 0 0 what you can do here is you can apply back elimination back elimination see your solution is not going to change right that's it so what is the meaning of back elimination you can apply you can you know this is the you can say take as a pivot one and make this guy also as a zero right so why we are doing so because you know this is the column space right i mean this vector belongs to column space and they, this is also a pivot what i want is key above the pivot and below the pivot everything is gonna be zero if this is unity right so back elimination means what you can say that on r1 we can say that r1 uh <clears throat> r1 uh plus uh you know two times of r2 right you can do so agar aap two multiply karvato add karte ho so this becomes what one two it is it will be same only this is zero and if you multiply two here and so it will be three right zero zero one one uh you know zero 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 right so there is a pivot there is a pivot right so let me write now the basis for row space and basis for column space so the pivots are present here right in this row and and this row is completely zero right so this row is not linearly independent row so we can say that the basis for row space okay the basis for row space is going to be the set of you can say 1 2 0 3 the vector corresponding to that row which are linearly independent row and one more uh, you can write here you know 0 0 1 1 so this is a basis for row space understood so the remember the pivots are present in the row that is going to be the linearly independent row right 
तो इन द क्वेश्चन इफ यू आर गेटिंग रैंक टू तो कोई पूछता है हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ लीनरली इंडिपेंडेंट रोज आर देर यू हैव टू से टू राइट एंड दैट टू इज टेलिंग यू द डायमेंशन ऑफ रो स्पेस अगर कोई पूछता है इसका डायमेंशन क्या है कैन यू टॉक अबाउट डायमेंशन ऑफ रो स्पेस तो डायमेंशन ऑफ रो स्पेस डायमेंशन ऑफ रो स्पेस आर ऑफ ए वी कॉल इट आर ऑफ ए ओके आर स्टैंड तो डायमेंशन ऑफ रो स्पेस इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू नंबर रैंक ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स राइट रैंक ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स और यू कैन से रैंक ऑफ ए राइट विच इज टू राइट विच इज रो रैंक एंड हाउ वी आर टेलिंग रैंक ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स यू नो नंबर ऑफ पीवर्ड्स यू नो इन द मैट्रिक्स तो ये बेसिस फॉर रो स्पेस होगा यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट दिस इन 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 द फॉर्म ऑफ यू नो यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट दिस कैन ऑल्सो से दैट कंस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस रो द वेरी फर्स्ट यू नो यू कैन गो टू ओरिजिनल वन कंस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस रो यू नो दिस रो इज देयर कंस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस रो दिस रो इज देयर यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट दिस तो समटाइम्स इन द एग्जाम दे माइट गिव यू यू नो so the rank uh, the basis for row space can also be written like this you can say that uh, original uh, you know row that you can write right? these these rows are linearly independent rows 3 6 minus 5 and 4 okay ye bhi sahi hai ye bhi sahi hai theek hai okay these rows are linearly independent so in the options whatever they have asked accordingly you have to decide which one is okay so how to find basis for row space that i have told you right see row space is nothing but the space you know containing what the row vectors right and basis for row space is going to be the those row which are linearly independent rows theek hai jahan par pivots present hain right so let me talk about uh, you know basis for column space basis for column space The basis for column space is going to be what? Basis for column space is again the set only. So here you have to write the column vectors, right? So you can write here the column vectors. The first column vector that we are going to have is this one zero zero, okay? One zero zero, and the second column vector that you can have is this zero one zero. अब देखो यहाँ पर जो back elimination लगाने के benefits Okay, so can you tell me what is the dimension of uh, column space? Anybody, anyone? Okay, those who are live right now, they can talk about uh, basis for column space. क्या होगा basis for column space? Can you tell me? What will be the basis for column space? बताओ जल्दी. What is the basis for column space? Sorry, not basis. Sorry, dimension of column space, right? So, what are the dimension of? Yeah, dimension is gonna be two, right? Okay, because the vector which are linearly independent, they they can also span the space. You know, these two vectors can span the space. So, dimension of this column space is gonna be two. Dimension of the column space. You can say C of A is going to be two. Column space को हम लोग C of A से denote करते हैं, right? Okay, I hope this makes sense. You can also write this similar, uh, you know, like you can also write the set of like this, okay? ठीक है. You can you can write the original columns here, right? Corresponding to these columns, original from the original matrix A, right? आप यहाँ लिख सकते हो कि this is going to be वन थ्री वन इसको आप लिख सकते हो माइनस टू माइनस फाइव जीरो वन थ्री वन माइनस टू माइनस फाइव जीरो राइट तो दिस इज ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ बेसिस राइट बट यूजली वी प्रेफर टू राइट बेसिस आफ्टर सिंप्लीफाइंग थिंग्स राइट लेकिन आप ये भी आंसर हो सकता है सो डोंट गेट सरप्राइज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द रिक्वायरमेंट यू हैव टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन राइट so the dimension of column space uh, you know is going to be 2 right so you can see here the rank has got many definitions right uh, rank has got many definitions see rank is nothing but dimension of column space rank is nothing but dimension of row space okay so rank has got many definitions uh, that's what i want to highlight here 
ठीक है टिल नाउ यू आर ओनली नोइंग वट इज रैंक रैंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिटर्मिनेंट राइट सपोज एनी सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इज गिवेन so you always try to find the rank of the matrix and then you 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 use to uh, you know talk about the rank of that matrix but now you can talk about rank in terms of dimension of the column space you can talk about rank in terms of uh, you know be, uh, basis of uh, the column uh, you know dimension of uh, row space right and so on and so forth okay so remember this is very important point that i highlighted theek hai ab maan lo let us take uh, you know let us take uh, one example again uh and now i will be taking an example of null space that is special one see row space and column space is very simple talking about basis for row space and column space as well as uh, you know they are very simple but null space ka thoda sa acha hai to maan lo aapke paas example hai you know like x plus y plus g equal to 0 right and you can say x plus 2 by plus t z equal to 0 and then you can say that 2x plus t y plus uh, you know 4 z equal to 0 right so these are the equations which are given right So you can form the matrix A first, right? A matrix because these these are what? This is A x equal to zero. The no, you know, you can say homogeneous system of linear equation is given. Homogeneous system of linear equation is given. So <clears throat> you can understand the uh, right here one, 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 two, three, two, three, four, right? So you can apply elimination. So after applying elimination, का मतलब क्या है? R2, R2 minus R1 and R3, R3 minus two times of R1. ठीक है? Because we have to make this guy zero. The matrix you will get here is one, 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 zero. You know, you are multiplying direct, you are subtracting directly, so no problem. It is zero. It is one. It is two. Okay, now you take this as a pivot. You take now this as a pivot. So you can subtract this, right? So here, what you will do? R three me R three minus R two karoge. So directly it, they will become zero. I'm just writing here the matrix you will obtain after applying this row operations: one, 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 zero, one, two, and uh, zero, zero, zero. <coughs> okay. In this case, uh, what you are going to get here is. You are going to get the this is row reduce echelon form that you can understand right because row has got reduce here. So what you can talk about here is now what is the rank of this matrix? So rank of this matrix is nothing but less than you know this rank. If I talk because there are two pivots, right? there are two pivots. So rank of the matrix A is going to be two, right? Okay, rank of the matrix which is less than number of unknown. Which is less than number of unknown. Please remember this, right? Which is less than number of unknown. So rank of the matrix A is two, which is less than number of unknown, right? Now you can talk about what? How many free variables are there? So, in this, free variables, how many will be? Free variables. That is also known as nullity. N minus R and is three minus two, which is one. And certainly, you know, X three can respond to free variable, right? So here. here what you can talk about this is basically you know uh infinitely many solutions you will get okay in this case right and the free variable is going to be called as nullity okay and this nullity tell talks about the dimension of null space guys how many free variables are there they are going to talk about dimension of null space yaad rakhna so free variable nullity they are all dimensions of null space right you will get only one vector which is going to be in the basis okay of the null space theek hai yaad rakhna ye nullity ka matlab kya hota hai this guy is also known as nullity so free variable nullity or dimension you can say right nullity is nothing but what dimension of null space okay nullity is nothing but dimension of null space राइट right? ये सारे वर्ड्स आप याद रखो ठीक है तभी आपको समझ जाने वाला है 
I hope this makes sense to you, right? So we have got this vector uh, one one one. Yes, so we can talk about here now. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, yeah. So since we have got this right, let me copy this guy. And again, you can apply back elimination, guys. ठीक है. आप back elimination लगा सकते हो. Though you can directly write, but apply back elimination as well. Sometimes it will be easy for you. So आप back elimination लगा दो यहाँ पर. Okay. So R R one में लगाना है. So R one minus R one minus and say R two. So what you will get, you will get here as one zero minus one. Uh, zero one two. And zero zero zero. So now this, you know, you see there is a vector. There is a vector. So if someone is going to ask you, right? If someone is going to ask you, what is going to be the, uh, what is going to be the, uh, you know, basis for this, right? Basis. Okay. So a basis, बता सकते हो simply, right? It's a very simple, uh, you know. So मान लो यहाँ पर कोई पूछता है कि what is the uh, dimension of column space that is going to be rank of the matrix what is dimension of row space that is going to be rank of the matrix and what is the dimension of null space that will be called as nullity yaad rakhna maine kya bataya dimension of row space is rank dimension of कॉलम स्पेस इज गोइंग टू बी रैंक देखो ये सब डेफिनेशन सेम है बट इफ आई आस्क डायमेंशन ऑफ नल स्पेस वी कॉल इट एन ऑफ ए नल स्पेस विच इज इक्वल टू नल टी और यू कैन से नंबर ऑफ थ्री वेरिएबल ओके डोंट कंपेयर दिस नल टी विद द रैंक ओके आई मीन नलटी इज गॉन बी ऑलवेज लेस कंपेयर टू द रैंक दैट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर राइट ये अच्छे डेफिनेशन है अगर कोई आप पूछता है आपसे डायमेंशन ऑफ द नल स्पेस क्या है तो आप बता सकते हो कि नलटी नलटी इज वॉट नलटी इज बेसिकली द डायमेंशन ऑफ नल स्पेस ठीक है दैट यू कैन ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट ठीक है तो आई थिंक दिस इज क्लियर राइट सो लुकिंग एट दिस यू नो दिस मैट्रिक्स ओके Uh, what you can do, you can uh, apply back substitution. So consider, suppose this is x1, this is x2, this is x3. You can say x3 is gonna be uh, alpha. Just take x3 as alpha, right? So you can write here uh, the uh, you know x x2 plus 2x3 is going to be zero, right? So you can put here uh, you know x2 is going to be minus 2 alpha, right? And your x1 is gonna be x1 minus x is zero, right? So you can say that x one is going to be alpha only. So आप यहाँ पर separate कर सकते हो, separate करोगे तो क्या हो जाएगा? Ah, you can say that x one, x two, x three, which is going to be alpha times. Okay, this is basically a solution that I am writing for infinitely many solutions. Okay, as I told you, right? आपको ये याद रखना है ये क्या है आपका solution है? So alpha times the coefficient that we have got, right? So one minus two one, one minus two one, right? One minus two one, right? So guys, remember, you know, this can fill entire space, right? This can fill entire space, okay? The scalar times the vector, right? So this this vector is nothing but the basis for null space. This vector, we call what? This vector is nothing but basis for a null space this vector is nothing but basis for null space okay please remember guys these are very important thing that i am telling you this ve these vectors are what the basis for null space okay please remember okay fine suppose let me take some more example right so <clears throat> Suppose we have got one example here. So writing, uh, you know, writing basis for row space, writing basis for column space, writing basis for null space. I think everything can you can talk about, right? And it's a very easy, uh, you know, process, right? Hello, examples. 
so rank is nothing but number of linearly independent rows rank of rank is nothing but number of linearly independent columns rank is okay that the example is going to be and dimension can differ dimension for row space dimension for column space is gonna be same okay but dimension for null space can be different okay please remember this okay it will be different always right yaad rakhna to mal lock was keval ek equation diya hai x plus y plus z equal to 0 but only one equation is given right certainly one equation variables are more number of unknowns are more you will get infinitely many solutions in this case so if there is a infinitely many solutions if you want to find the dimension of uh, null space what you can do Dim finding dimension of null space ka matlab kya hota hai? dimension of null space is known as nullity so how to find this nullity nullity is going to be uh, equal to number of three variables okay. so number of three well n minus r so you know that there are three unknowns okay and what is going to be rank rank can be one only in this case right so you see here the dimension of null space is going to be two right dimension of null space is going to be two now how to find this basis for this x plus y plus z that is very important so basis uh, for x plus y plus z is equal to zero okay basis for x plus y plus z equal to zero right so i'm talking about basis for null space actually we are trying to compute null space i'm finding the basis for null space okay see finding for basis for uh, column space as well as uh, row space you know is not going to matter here because there are only one row one column uh, three columns but i mean you know and there is only one element you know present in the base in the vector right aapko basis for null space nikalna sahi hai to aap kya karo uh, you just suppress this z okay you can suppress z okay understood you just suppress z what do you do so i'm just writing the basis directly right remember basis is nothing but a set basis of null is going to be you just suppress this z okay then what what x equal to y you can take right so if x is 1 so y is going to be minus 1 and this is 0 so if you put this uh, in the matrix okay so i i mean in the given equation so it should satisfy so aapko to ye sabse simple method pata hai right to option mein jo bhi rahega bas aapko dimension nikalna hai null space ka theek hai bas wahi option le kar ke aap put kar do wapas hai na to aap directly likh sakte ho इसका कैसे मैंने बोला x को सप्रेस कर दो एंड इफ यू टेक x इक्वल टू 1 सो y शुड बी माइनस 1 बस सिंपल ठीक है और सेकंड में क्या कर रहेगा सेकंड में आपको करना है y को सप्रेस करो राइट सो इफ यू टेक x इक्वल टू 1 राइट सपोज सॉरी इफ यू टेक z इक्वल टू 1 सो x शुड बी माइनस 1 ठीक है दीज आर दी बेसिस ओके दी आर दी बेसिस फॉर नल स्पेस ठीक है देखो डायमेंशन टू है तो बेसिस में दो वेक्टर्स आएंगे दे आर लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट वेक्टर तो क्या फिर से याद रखना इफ यू आर सप्रेसिंग जेड राइट तो आपको एक्स वन लेना है एंड देन बाई विल बी माइनस वन इफ यू आर सप्रेसिंग बाई तो टेक जेड एज वन एंड एक्स इज गोन बी माइनस वन इन दिस मैनर यू कैन डायरेक्टली डू एंड यू कैन फाइंड द बेसिस राइट डायरेक्टली ठीक है फॉर वन इक्वेशन अब देखो एक इक्वेशन और लेते हैं सेम कॉन्सेप्ट लगाते हैं फाइंड द बेसिस फॉर दिस x माइनस थ्री बाई प्लस टू जेड इक्वल टू जीरो तो अगर आप क्या करो यहां पर बेसिस फॉर नल स्पेस बेसिस फॉर नल स्पेस कैसे निकालेंगे the vector here you suppress this guy right you suppress this guy and take x equal to 1 right so if you take x equal to 1 okay hmm? 
so how what is the dimension in this case dimension is going to be 3 minus 2 which is 3 minus 1 is going to be 2 so certainly dimension of null space will be 2 so there will be two vectors okay so <clears throat> i think this is clear right so uh, it is important right so basis for null space is going to be dimension equal to 3 minus 1 uh, which which is equal to 2 the basis for null space will be uh, you can suppress this right so if you suppress 2z here right so you can write here that uh, uh, you can take here if we okay if you take x equal to y equal to 1 here right in this case Suppose you are suppressing 2z, right? So y equal to 1 you take. So what is x? Right? If you take y equal to 1, right? So x is going to be uh, 3, right? x is going to be 3 and it is 0. If you plug back, so it is going to satisfy, right? Okay, it is going to be satisfying. And uh, <clears throat> and let us take, uh, you know, uh, x equal to 1, right? What is going to be y then? So, uh, you know, y is going to be 3y. So y, yeah. I think this is also okay, right? If you if you if you don't, you can also write the basis like this. Take okay. uh, this is one, so it will be one by three and zero. ये भी सही है, ठीक है? ऐसा कुछ नहीं है, right? It depends. If you if you plug back, it is also going to satisfy, ठीक है? So it depends, okay? Non-unique representation you will get always in case of infinitely many solutions, right? non unique representation and he, i just want to avoid the fractions that's why i, I took y equal to 1 and then x equal to minus 3 now you you sub, sub, suppress this uh, you know 2z sorry you suppress this uh, you know 3 by you take z equal to 1 right so your x will be minus 2 and this is 1 so this is the basis for null space and dimension clearly is one two right there are two vectors present in this uh, figure so i hope this makes sense to all right so guys a important conclusion that i will be talking telling here is the key to remember okay okay regarding uh, rank of the matrix rank of matrix right because rank of the matrix has got many definitions right so the first definition that you know uh, the rank of the matrix you can say rank of matrix is equal to what first of all number of pivots pehla definition dusra definition kya hai number of linearly independent rows number of linear li rows li rows means how many rows are present in the basis of row space right jahan pivot rahega wahi li hai jo non zero rows hain they are li after performing elimination and all right number of li columns ye bhi ek definition hai okay and these definitions are related with the you can say dimensions right so dimension of column space dimension of row space right dimension of row space okay so how many definitions you have got for rank of the matrix there are five definitions of rank of the matrix okay kitne definitions are five definitions okay so you guys are familiar with these definitions uh can you tell me in the chat box don't compare nullity uh, you know don't take nullity as a rank of uh, matrix okay nullity is the dimension of uh, null space okay. nullity is what nullity is the dimension of null space okay nullity is the dimension of null space okay please remember these points
तो आपको पता था पहले अच्छा रिगार्डिंग दीज डेफिनेशन फाइव डेफिनेशन रैंक की फाइव डेफिनेशन होती हैं ठीक है सो डोंट लिमिट योर सेल्फ द स्काई हैज गॉट लॉट ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर यू राइट एंड इट्स वेटिंग फॉर यू सर्टनली इफ यू आर वर्किंग हार्ड गेटिंग अप अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग अटेंडिंग धीरस क्लास ओके ऑनेस्टली यू नो सॉल्विंग पी वाई क्यूज एंड एक्साइटेड अबाउट गेट एग्जाम देखो यू ऑलवेज गेट एक्साइटेड अबाउट रैंक ऑफ द रैंक ऑफ ओके आई मीन एक्साइटेड अबाउट गेटिंग इन टू प्रीमियर इंस्टीट्यूट राइट दैट्स इट बाकी तो सब कुछ आ जाएगा ठीक है एंड स्टे कीप स्माइलिंग एज वेल यू नो वाइल स्टडिंग देर आर अबंडेंस ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज अवेल वेटिंग फॉर यू राइट सो ये देखो कितनी ईजी तरीके से हम लोग डिस्कस किए दो आर लेक्चर इज फॉर एल यू टी कम्पोजिशन बट आई थिंक इन दिस सेशन आई एम नॉट गोना फिनिश द एल यू डी कम्पोजिशन राइट सो एल यू डी कम्पोजिशन सो in fact i will finish this lu decomposition in the next uh, class so what is the meaning of lu decomposition lu decomposition is nothing but l stands for uh, you know the lower uh, um, okay lower triangular matrix okay so okay it's a important concept l stands for lower lower triangular matrix okay. and u stands for upper triangular matrix right lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix okay it's a very important concept right uh, that you have to understand okay so suppose any matrix a will be there right this is also known as lu factorization See, any matrix will be given. You have to factorize that matrix in L and U. Okay, factorize करना है, ठीक है? आपको एक matrix रहेगा, उसको L and U में factorize करना है, right? L stands for lower triangular matrix, U stands for upper triangular matrix. Simple, ठीक है? So आपको कैसे लिखना है? मैं आपको बता देता हूँ. Suppose a matrix is given. You can say two by two matrix. I am taking a one one, a one two. A two one, A two two. Okay, so you have to write this matrix in LU format, right? A equal to LU, you have to write. Okay. A should be equal to LU, and L stands for lower triangular matrix, U stands for upper triangular matrix. So I will be teaching in detail, but not in this session. Yeah. So you have to remember that L stands for lower triangular matrix, U stands for upper triangular matrix, right? So you can say that. L stands for lower triangular means this is L one one, this is zero, L two one, L two two. So this is L, and what is going to upper triangular matrix? So always remember, always remember. If you are taking lower triangular matrix like this, all elements of lower triangular matrix you are considering. So in case of upper triangular matrix, you have to consider only one element, right, above the diagonal, and diagonal element should be one. that is the criteria you have to remember always right so diagonal element should be one right and only one element should be unknown that is u12 see let me again repeat if you are going to consider theek okay, hai all elements of lower triangular matrix right all elements of lower triangular matrix so you have to only consider in case of upper triangular matrix only one element that is u12 rest of the elements like below the diagonal it is zero that then only you can talk about you can say that this is going to be okay okay in case of 2 by 2 i am talking about theek okay. hai in case of this isko aap aise bhi likh sakte ho you can also write this as 1 1 l uh, 2 1 right Now you write upper triangular matrix as uh, U one one, U one two, zero, U two two. So both are, you know, in both ways you can uh, you can factorize. So in the examination, the way they are asking question, you have to understand, right? So this is for two by two, right? And we'll talk about for three by three. So there are some methods. One is direct method. Okay, we'll talk about direct method. Okay. 
and there are some shortcuts right that uh, i'll talk about right so we'll discuss this concept in the next session guys is there any doubt so we will talk about direct method but direct method is not useful for the gate exam and we'll talk about uh, you know some some smart way of solving some smart method okay any doubt any doubt related to basis dimension dimension of null space dimension of row space dimension of column space basis of row space column space kisi bhi type ka koi doubt hai aap pooch sakte ho i am open to answer batao yes acha tell me yeah if you have any sort of doubt guys okay so we'll wind up the session here thank you so much and keep learning uh, we'll meet in the next session right thank you